So hello, 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 hello. Small update. Today's date is the next day. I don't know what date it is. I have no idea. The 14th. It is the 14th, 1st, 2020. And uh, while I was doing these clips here, I realized, yeah, well, about the... Uh, I've been last night uh, at the doctor's office. And he said, yeah, because of the befund, the what he's got, uh, the paper from from the dermatologist, thing like that, you know, it's called befund in German. So uh, it said in there that there is no infection and that I have this delusional uh, illness, you know, and that I'm afraid of bugs, you know, bugs and worms. You know, this is so stupid, that comment. Think about it. People who do not have these kind of problems like Morgellons, Lyme disease or cancer, you know, they can say, you know, like, cancer, a <laughs> big deal, you know, or bugs or worms, you know, it's not so bad, you know, like, they don't know what this is like, you know, when you cannot sleep, when you're itching all the time, um, and the pain there, you know, this is, it's starting to itch right now, again, you know, and, and you go in public and you do this, then you know what they're thinking, you know, oh, this guy gets fleas, stay away from him, you know, so that's why I cannot do this, I have to suppress it, you know, is this fair? And now look at this, this skin, uh, this is the light, you know, it's, uh, what time is it? I have no idea, it's around, uh, it's now 12.29, almost. Beautiful sunshine, beautiful day. It's Tuesday, right? And the light with this, um, what do you call this, drapes, you know, it's, it gives me the uh, look of prison. I've never been to prison, you know, but you know what I am? I am Borg. I am a prisoner of myself. Huh? So, so uh, while I was doing this this uh, this clip here, redoing it and thinking about what happened last night, and I'm going to the doctor, and uh, they're talking about this befund. This is a befund, you know, um, um, that I do not have an infection. There are no pe uh, per, um, what's it called fungi. Never he never mentioned fungi, but it says in here. And and what else? I have this uh, zoophobia. Meaning, I am, that's how I translate it, zoo, zoo, meaning like you go to the zoo, you know, where there are animals there. And a phobie, meaning like you're afraid of something, right? So, um, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. I'm going to read this for you now. This is in German. This is the, the, the rapport, the Befund. In German, it's Befund. When you get something from a doctor saying like, this is this kind of disease you have or have not. And... Um, Unfortunately, this is only in, in, uh, in German. So when you want to translate something, I will show you that thing a little bit. And then uh, things, words that you do not understand, write it down, Google it, you know, Google Translator, and you will find those things. And um, I did have a copy about it before they, he wanted, she wanted to send me to this um, therapy thing about my, uh, what's it called, anorexia, and to get rid of the eczemas. How would they do that? I've did, uh, what's it called, Res research, yes, research, investigation, that there is no healing from Lyme disease or Morgellons, but once you get this diagnosis, you may get uh, antibiotica that will um, linder, that will calm down a little bit your, um, your pain, your itches, you know, it will not heal you. They say here and there, well, well there's no such thing as Morgellons. There's Lyme disease. And Morgellons, those little snake uh, parasites, they occur, the body makes them happen, makes them occur. It's a part of the body. It's just so much bullshit. I haven't heard so, so much, also really, you know, this is ridiculous. Why are they saying this? Because otherwise, if you say uh, this is a Morgellons disease, then they're, they're not going to get any, any money from investors, you know? That's why they're calling it. They're saying it's a part of the body, you know? Just like, just like blood uh, is a part of the body. Yeah, the body creates it, of course. But Morgellons, I don't think so, you know? And at times there's just ridiculous too much of it in there. Okay. So I talked to my doctor today, you know, like, like uh, I went there and tried to figure this out again, you know, like super infection, you know, I wanted to say that this dermatologist is a liar. Uh, and now he was explaining it to me, so uh, maybe she isn't a liar. But, um, you know, this has been paid, not privately, this has been paid by my, um, what's it call it, um, 
um, what is it? You have a you are, you have health care, right? When you're being paid from the state, I'm paying like a lot of money a month, about two hundred fifty euros a month. By the end of the year, you got over a thousand euros paid into that system, which is you have to have this insurance. You know, it's a health insurance. Uh, when I get a prescription for sleeping pills, you know, I do not get the brand that I used to get. I get the cheapest brand that there is. And, and those brands, from them, I uh, start sleepwalking. Perfect. I don't understand. I'm paying a thousand, over a thousand euros into that system. I might as well be uh, privately uh, insured. But then again, when I need to go for an MRT, you know how much it costs an MRT to pay privately? I listened to this once, not that I wanted to, but you know, uh, the information was over there. The, that was uh, in another doctor's praxis. And someone came in and said uh, he's uh, privately insured. For an MRT, I don't have to pay because the insurance pays it, the health insurance, healthcare. That person, you know how much what he had to pay for? It cost, um, I think, you know, for. 500 euros for an MRT, you know? And they, they want to, to change that, that even the wealthy ones will pay just the same like uh, like we did, or we do, or something like that, you know? So this is ridiculous. So what I'm trying to say is here, that has been diagnosed with my insurance. In this insurance, the German insurance, it says, like, we will only pay for that what it's worth paying for it. You know, it's not worth paying for something like uh, figuring out Lyme disease, like there are four other ones or five other ones about Lyme disease, like Borealis, that needs to be checked. They're checking only one th one thing that che checks. They do check only one thing that you may, well, they will tell you, yes, you have it or you don't have it, you know. But the other four or three Borealis that are important, they will not check. It does not belong because they're losing money on that. I'm paying so much money and they're losing money. Now they're going to raise that again. You know, the payments, they're raising the payments again. Everything is getting expensive. Uh, food is getting expensive because they're throwing away so much food, you know, Germans. We do not throw this stuff away. You go to a uh, store, behind the store they show documentaries on it. They're throwing salads and vegetables and, and fruits away that are still edible. But no one wants to buy them because the prices are so expensive. So what are they going to do? They're going to raise the prices. They're going to raise the prices on meat. I don't like eating meat. No? Or my family here, the family needs, wants, likes to eat that stuff that is uh, filled with antibiotics. You know, that's why. Yeah? But uh, even that, they did that on butter a few years ago. You know, butter is getting expensive. Uh, before you paid butter like 45 cents. And then you paid... For that same, uh, what, 100 grams, I think, whether it's 200, 250 grams or 500, I don't know, I don't buy this stuff, I don't like this stuff. Uh, we then paid um, 2 euros, 2 euros, no, what am I, uh, 164, but sometimes, yeah, 164. And then sometimes it was on special, and they went down for a euro or 99 cents or something like that, it's still expensive. Now, eventually, after a year or so, they lowered the prices because nobody wanted to buy butter anymore. And now they're going to do the, the same thing with the meat. They're going to raise, like uh, you pay there for cutlets, something like a steak. Let's say a little, I don't know, a little box or whatever, how you say it, it's uh, like $5, 5 euros you paid for it. Now you're going to pay 7 euros for it. So you can think about it. Why should I buy meat? I don't buy meat. Why did you buy vegetables? It's more healthier. Huh? Eventually, they will realize that their whole um, uh, units where they store all the meat, that meat is going to start to rot. And then they're going to throw it away. Where is this system? It's all because the climate change. We have to raise it. Everything is expensive. Yes. On the other side of the planet, like in Russia, wherever, they're pumping oil. If there's an oil leak, so what? You know, like... Uh, the whole lakes are uh, particularly contaminated with oil. Nobody's going to clean that. Huh? 
all over the world they're burning oil it's burning the oceans are um in in visible contaminated because some kind of oil tanker um had to ram a reef why did he ram it what was he doing during that time huh sleeping what about the navigation system don't doesn't it have any alarm or radar hmm strange it is as if this ecology was manipulated so everything goes bad you know the climate is getting bad to raise the prices for everything yes that's a good business idea and after this has been passed what will come next hmm maybe we're going to sell meteorite insurance because meteorites are coming to this world they're going to destroy everything so we have to raise it you know this is ridiculous isn't it so anyways back to what we're talking here about i'm drifting away a little bit so um i'm going to read this a little bit in german as good as i can and translate what, what i can so that was sent from the laboratory which they only checked only that you know what the dermatologist like i said in another clip before 